Hey everyone, let's start talking about the Global Solar Atlas. So when you open the website globalsolaratlas.info slash map, what you can see is a very large map here, what you can see for different regions in the world. So let's say, for example, you would like to um, choose any part. I will choose my own country, Egypt, and the region Cairo like this i will select any point like this so what you can see first is uh, cairo which is a uh, selection region and the first part which is the uh, latitude and longitude of the location if you go down here you will find that data of this uh, location so for example the first one which is a specific vot photovoltaic power output uh, which is the ratio between kilowatt hour per kilowatt peak let's uh, convert this into instead of per year let's make it per day so what does this mean it means that if you are installing one kilowatt peak bv system you will be able to get uh, energy from it around 4.9 to 8 kilowatt hour okay now this number can change from one region to another. Let's say, for example, if we go here to any European country, let's say here, okay, any random one. If you look at the specific photovoltaic power, 3.186, which is lower than uh, Egypt. If you go here like this, 2.9. So depending on the region, the amount of uh, power which can be generated can change. So the higher this number, the better the generated amount of energy per day. Then you have here the direct normal uh, irradiation, DNI and global horizontal irradiation, diffuse horizontal irradiation and the global tilted irradiation at optimum angle. All of these four definitions which we have discussed in the lessons of the definitions of the global solar atlas. So if you don't remember it, go to these lessons. Okay, now for this area or this location, you will see that the Global Solar Atlas told you that the optimum tilt angle of the BV modules is 26 degrees. This is the optimum angle uh, calculated by this program or this simulation. And the slash 180, what does 180 mean? This one is the azimuth angle. So since our uh, country here, Egypt, is in the northern hemisphere, we have to uh, face our panels to the south, which is equivalent to 180 degrees of azimuth. And here's the air temperature uh, of the surrounding temperature of the location itself and the elevation of the location. Okay. Now, another thing here you will find is that the global tilted irradiation at optimum angle. Now, this is representing how many kilowatt hour per meter square and the global horizontal irradiation. You have to know that GHI and GTR are used to get the peak sun hours. So what does peak sun hours mean? It means the number of hours in which we will have uh, irradiation of 1000 watt or higher 1000 watt per meter square so if we just do like this and just type something here so here um, the peak sun hours peak sun hours are the hours in one day in which we have irradiation of 1000 watt per meter square or higher this is equivalent to what is equivalent to the STC condition of the irradiation. Okay, STC 1000 watt per meter square, 25 Celsius degrees, and 1.5 air mass. Now, the GHI here, for example, GHI, its value is equal to uh, 5.761. Kilowatt hour per meter square. This one, 1000 watt, is equivalent to one kilowatt per meter square. Now, if you look at this one and this one, one kilowatt per meter square 
5.761 kilowatt hour. So this means that this value GHI is equal to big sun hours multiplied by one kilowatt per meter square. So this number 5.761 representing how many hours or the peak sun hours per day. But you have to remember something which is important. Here, global horizontal irradiation representing the peak sun hours here for a panel installed horizontally, delta angle equal to zero. So the amount of irradiation falling on a horizontal plane. However, if you are using a tilt angle, let's say 26 degrees, you will find that this value is the one should, which you should use in uh, getting the number of sun hours. So the number of sun hours should be 6.3 hours. Okay, so you should have used this one if you already know the tilt angle that you are going to install. If you don't know yet the tilt angle, then you can use the GHI as the peak sun hours. Why peak sun hours important? Because they are used in the sizing of the BV system. You, when we reach the lesson of the design of BV system, you will find that we will need the peak sun hours. So you can use GHI or GTI. However, GTI is more accurate representation of the peak sun hours. Okay. What are we going to do next? Uh, let's go and select the system. So using the global solar atlas, you can choose what system you would like to design. Small residential system, medium size commercial, ground mounted large scale, floating large scale. So let's say we are talking about a small residential like this, choose. Then you will find here the configuration of the system. You can see that this system is a small residential. The azimuth is 180 degrees, tilt angle 26 degrees, and the capacity of the system is one kilowatt peak. And this is the average values uh, generated by the program per day, and you can also make it per year, like this. So it says that you are going to generate uh, how many megawatt hour per year 1.727 megawatt hour per year or kilowatt hour per meter square 2283.7 okay now another thing here is that you can change also the pv system if you click here you can change the asmus like this and put any asmus you would like you can also change the delta angle as you would like and the size of the pv system now another thing you can see here is that if you choose small residential, it considered the size as one kilowatt peak. For a medium, a hundred kilowatt peak. For a ground such as a large scale grid connected system, one thousand kilowatt peak or one megawatt. For a floating on surface of water, you will find one megawatt. Okay, so depending on the system, the size or the amount of energy will change or amount of power will change so we have a small residential now let's get back here for something important now remember that when we talked in a lesson about the tilt angle and we said how can we select the tilt angle of a location we said that if you are designing based on uh, summer and uh, based on summer then the tilt angle will be the latitude minus 15 degrees okay 15 degrees so the angle will be 15 degrees in this location if you are designing based on winter it will be 45 degrees because you are going to take the latitude and add 15 degrees if you are designing based on autumn or uh, fall then you are going to choose or spring then you are going to choose the uh, Delta angle equal to the latitude, which is 30 degrees. And also this depends on the type of the system. If you don't know this, get back to the lesson of the tilt angle. Anyway, let's continue this lesson. So let's keep the default values of 26 degrees. Okay. However, if we change this to 30 degrees, making it equal to the latitude of the location, 
let's look at the difference okay very very small difference in power so if we choose the angle similar to the latitude it will not uh, give any uh, it will give a very very small decrease in power very very small value if we click on open detail you will get the details of the system here you can see the sun curve similar to the sun curve that was obtained uh, in the lesson of the uh, distance between bv rows uh, here you can see the average uh, hourly profile which are representing how much what hour generated in each month and during the hours of the day here for example at 6 p.m at 6 a.m if you go and increase until 12 p.m then goes down and so on here it gives you four different months this figure is similar to this one january between 7 to 8 you will get this amount of energy uh, between 8 and 9 this energy in what hour and so on and this is the monthly average how many what hour for each month now this is a design based on the uh, global solar atlas however there is something which is important here when we are designing let's say for example i'm talking about of grid system so i'm talking about of grid system and we said before in order to design an off-grid system the tilt angle should be equal to the latitude of the location plus 15 degrees now why do we do this because this will be the best angle for harvesting or uh, obtaining electrical or maximum power maximum energy in winter Remember that winter is the worst month in generation of electrical power. So we design of the off-grid system based on tilt angle plus 15 degrees. For the on-grid, it will be equal to the latitude. For the uh, systems working in summer, it will be latitude minus 15. Okay. So here, if we are select, if we select, let's say um tilt angle equal to the latitude like this and open detail okay this is for uh 30 degrees okay you will find this is the power that we have now look carefully at the difference between the highest months and lowest one if you look at august which are representing the summer in egypt compared to december which are representing winter in egypt look at the difference in energy produced in here in august bv out equal 146.2 kilowatt hour 164.2 in december which is the lowest month 118 you can see approximately 50 percent difference between here and here you can see uh, approximately let's just delete this 162 in summer or in august and in winter uh one uh how much exactly 180 okay 180 so you can see about 50 uh, kilowatt hour difference between these two months so this difference is equivalent to 50% for summer 50% additional to winter you can see large gap between them now if we do the method that I discussed in the course which is designing uh, latitude plus 15 in order to balance the energy produced throughout the whole months so latitude equals 30 degrees so add 15 to it it will be 45 so if we change this to 45 in order to design based on the worst months you can see change in energy energy produced is lower however let's look at the balance in the generation you can see almost all of the months are close to each other compared to the previous case so if you look at the highest months august 148.5 148.5 for august or summer and for winter look at here 126.8 for winter 
126.8 so you can see difference between them is just 20 kilowatt hour compared to the first case which had a large gap 50 kilowatt hour that's why for the off-grid system you design based on the worst case in order to um, make the system provide enough energy in the worst months which is winter however when i design on grid system i design based on the latitude equal to the longitude in order to what in order to get the maximum energy from the system because it is a grid connected system okay now let's say you have finished everything you would like to do with the global solar atlas you can download a report from it like just click on report then choose the uh, format you would like pdf or uh, excel and click on download so now the report is formed click on it and you have a report coming from the bv syst okay now another thing here if you look at here this page uh, support dot uh, support slash methodology this one gives you the um, assumptions or the theoretical model assumptions uh, so you can see that here for the small residential it is assumed that the system is oriented uh, portrait the uh, solar panels are installed portrait portrait like this uh, in the vertical and uh, for the commercial and the other system landscape which is horizontal panels in each row for the self shading here theoretically we have a 2% self shading for the residential no shading effect for medium yes there is a shading effect and so on gives you losses in cables how much percent losses how much losses in transformer and so on and even the inverter efficiency so this is a theoretical model okay a simulation based on this uh, values which can be a little bit different uh, from the real uh, case because it depends on the actual values of the efficiency of inverter and other um, equipment or other um, values of this equipment okay so in this lesson we talked about the global solar atlas and we'll learn it how to use it and how can we simulate the generation uh, energy of a uh, BV system.